Hi there Libra, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 23rd of January. The sun continues in the most vital part of your scope, giving you a great chance to feel go-getting and energised around the things that are really important to you. So why is it in the first half of this week that actually your vitality may be a little bit compromised? Well, it's because Mercury is passing by Neptune, that dreamy but draining influence which has had such a big impact on your zodiac sign in recent years. Now, by the middle of the week, Mercury will have moved forwards, and I do feel that your thinking can start to clarify somewhat. But your ruler Venus is also in the sign of obligation for you and work. And it's possible that because you're someone who does tend to be a people pleaser, that there is a situation where other people have become so accustomed to you doing the best you can that they're almost taking you for granted. And I think the dynamic of the early part of this week, therefore, can see you looking at things and really evaluating whether there is a fair uh, exchange of energy, labour and time in this arrangement. But what's really going to supercharge you this week, Libra, is Saturday, because then there is a new moon in your fifth solar house, the best new moon of the whole year, really, and this is going to provide new energy over the next month for you to access, to really shake off any lethargy, and to demonstrate to people just how creative, imaginative, fun and charismatic you really are. But also on the same day, Mars moves into your opposite sign of Aries. Now Mars is the ruler of Aries, so it's very happy in that location. Now for you, this can be more challenging in the sense that it can bring relationship issues much more to the fore. But it also can give you the push to be a lot more on the, the front foot. Yours is one of the angular zodiac signs. Don't underestimate your ability to take the lead. And I just think this is going to make you much more dynamic around your interactions with others per se. It doesn't matter if it's with people at work who perhaps are dragging their feet and letting you carry the load, or whether it's to do with the share of domestic responsibilities, or even family matters. If you need to represent yourself with a bit more fire, then this change over the following six weeks is going to be fundamentally helpful to you. But it's also important to realise that your ruler Venus is going to be compromised this week by the strict energies of Saturn. And if there is a situation which is grinding you down a little bit, your natural diplomacy may be a little bit more in short supply. There could be a tendency on your part to just really tell it how it is. Now that might not be a bad thing, but just make sure that you are absolutely right in what you're saying. Because certainly the combination between Mercury and Neptune can distort our reality. And even information which we think is sound may turn out to be faulty. So before you do defend yourself or put your case forwards, it is important to know that you're absolutely factually correct. But I think by the end of this week, if you're wanting to start to be more playful, more engaged with other people, uh, take part more socially, or look for new adventures when it comes to your love life, this is going to be a trigger point for real excitement in the weeks to come. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.